is wrong. I love it, you Will you take your hands off me? What is all this nonsense? That's my uniform. Your uniform? My uniform. Then you. Oh. Let me have it, you. Out of my way. I'll stay under the same roof with an old flat footed bull. Get out of my way. Where are you going? Go to that door. No, you're not. I didn't want to tell you that this morning, Dad. But I've been on the force eight years. That's how I found where you were. I know you're a hate cop. That's all over now. You're going to come here and live with me. Start over again. Get out of my way. Don't know, son of mine. Stay away from the front there. Let me go. Go on. Go on. Mm. We should be staying out for half a night again, eh? Oh, no, not bad. I'm just going down to the gym for a workout. Well, then, cops again, eh? Bad company you're keeping, Bill. They won't do you any good. Oh, uh, listen, Dad, those boys are all... Oh, it's cold. I thought the contract was funny when I was cooking again, eh? Say, didn't I remind you to pay the gas bill last week? You didn't even tell it. Ain't honest, Bill. Ain't honest. Ain't it enough that I whip my fingers to the bone trying to run this place? Must I think of everything, huh? I'll look into it tomorrow. Forget the dishes, Dad. The housekeeper will clean them up in the morning. Uh, I'm breaking on a plate. Have I broken one single dish? I have not. And what credit do I get? I'll go, Dad. Oh, my picture, don't look up picture. Good evening, Dad. Darling, it's the pleasure of your company I'll have to be depriving myself of. I thought you were on business, see? Good night, darling. Good night, dear. Good night, Dad. Good night, Dad. Tell me, dear, what's the matter? Oh, Bill, try to understand me. Please try. You're the only one who can help me. It's about Johnny. Johnny? Yes, I made up my mind to ask you to do something. Promise me you will. Well, what is it? Promise me. Honey, you know you don't have to make me promise to do anything for you. This is Bill, the guy that loves you. It's a coward that's convicted, Bill, Bill. Oh, don't let Johnny talk. You can't even get up there and stop the coward to the chair. But, honey, you don't seem to realize how Johnny feels. He's a cop, and a good one. That's why he's going to testify against the Oh, I understand all of that, but there's something that you seem to have forgotten. Johnny's just a kid. It isn't fair, Bill. But, Ruth... You want a conviction, don't you, Bill? Has your ambition nothing to do with it? If I've been ambitious, you know the reason. I've tried to be something for your sake. Nothing besides a flat for telling a beat. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I could be happy with you if you were still telling a beat. It's just that I'm so afraid. Oh, don't let Johnny talk. You have to say the word. Who believes in you so? That's just why I can't ask him to be a quitter. Not even for his own sake. Not even for your sake. Or mine. Bill? I asked you to do something for me. Something that meant everything. Now there's really nothing more to be said. Ruth. Please. Why? I didn't want it to be a test, but it was. Ruth, listen to me. Oh, you know. so, so much rather you said nothing. And so, don't, don't, don't say that you love me. Wait, I'll go with you. I'll ask you not to. I have a head for the car. I'm quite safe. Very well. Good night, dear. Goodbye, Bill. Uh-huh. If it's in the window, it's phony. The real ice is in the box. I've got a date, John. Who? Tell me, Jerry. You know, he's a big cop with Mike Patillo. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, Tony and me are just, uh... 
Play on it? No, Bill. You might win. <laughs> well, I gotta be on the way. Good night, Bill. Good night, John. Hey, uh, Johnny. Yeah. Close the door. <coughs> Before you go, I want to tell you something. Yeah, sure. The district attorney wants you to testify against the fellow, doesn't he? Well, sure. Well, kid, he can't make you say you saw the killing if you don't want to. Well, he isn't gonna have to make you say it. I'm gonna talk and talk plenty. Listen, you have to get the mob that's dynamite. I want you to remember that you've got an out. Nick's Bill. I know you're looking at it that way on my account, but maybe I am. Sure you are. And gee, Bill, I... You don't know how much I can. Oh, say. We'll be working together long after that rat's where he belongs. That's right, kid, but just the same. Remember what I told you. Don't you go worrying about me. All right, man. Good night, Bill. Good night, Johnny. Captain, you could have knocked me down with a trunk pack when I found out that you was member O'Brien's father. Have you recovered this stuff? No, sir. O'Brien know anything yet? No, sir. When I found out who John B. was, I went in. Things put it together so good is why I brought him in. Now I've come to you to find out where I stand. Where are you at, John B.? Right outside, sir. Step in there, man. And close the door. Can you hear me now? Just as plain as if I was in the same room with you, sir. Okay. I want you to bring John P. into that room from the outer entrance and don't let him say a word. You understand? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And remember, don't let him make a sound no matter what happens in here. Okay, Captain. Hello, Lou. Send Bill up to my office, will you please? Come in. How do you feel about tomorrow, Bill? Yeah. Good, sir. You mean the trial? Yeah. Yes, well, sir. This secretary's already case when Mr. Jonah Dale comes off the stand. Ah, oh, that's smart. The defense won't be able to do very much with a jury that just hurt that boy tell the truth. Then you 
Mary, is that your father? No, Captain. Perhaps you should be. Why do you say that? I've been wondering about your father. I've been wondering to be honest square with you. What do you think? I'm sure. How sure? Positive. Captain, I've come to know my dad lately. I know the stuff he's made of. What he's got in him. He's been on the level with me, and I've bet everything I have in the world on it. Don't worry about sweet me. Hope you're right. Then you got a heart beating with me. I'm out of here. Okay, Captain. Wait a minute, No tickets standing up if you don't mind. You don't remember me, do you, Brian? I know you. I know all about you. You do? Yes. You've broken the parole your son got for you. You've double crossed him in the big house. He's looking at you. You say it was Billy got me parole? You don't suppose you got it, do you? So it was Billy. You'd be up there yet if it weren't for him. Why have you done that stuff in the jewelry store? Awesome, get it. Good. I'm going to give you one chance to come clean. You don't deserve it, but your boy does. He tried to make a father out of you. Bring that stuff here. I'll put you in the clear, but it'll be for the last time. You never tell Billy? Certainly not. Why do you think I'm giving you this break? Oh, bless you, Chuck. I'll bring it to you in my own hands. Well, let me tell you something. When an O'Brien's wrong, he's wrong. When it takes an O'Brien to put him right. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the state will endeavor to prove that Michael Patello did willfully and maliciously murder one John Henry, a resident of this state and county. The state will demand that Michael Patello be required to pay the supreme penalty for his crime. Remember, kid, they can't make you talk. Let me use my own judgment, will you, Bill? I hope it's you. No, Officer Dale, where did you first see the defendant? He was coming up the steps on the basement of the Club Regal. Were you acquainted with the person? No, he was John Henry? Yes, sir. He was a waiter. A good guy. Yeah, no doubt. No, Officer Dale. When did you last see this waiter? John Henry. When he was lying on the sidewalk in front of the club regal. Then. Will you tell the court what caused the death of John Henry? He was shot. How do you know? I saw it. You say you saw him shot? Yes, sir. Did you see the person who fired the shot to kill him? Yes, sir. Is the identity of this person known to you? Yes, sir. Is this person in this room? No, Mr. Dale, will you tell the court the name of this person who you saw fire the shot that killed John Henry? Mr. Dale, will you please answer my question? Yes, sir. The name of that person... <coughs> 